Hello and welcome back to my limited heal run of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we explored the Safari Zone. We got um, Charlie to evolve into a Charizard. There he is. And we did the Surfing Pikachu minigame. And in between episodes, I did a little bit of training um, as far as getting... Um, I finished fighting, I think, all the trainers. Well, just about all the trainers. I don't know if I fought absolutely all of them. But I did a lot of training um, on the trainers from the route south of Fuchsia over until the start of the Seafoam Islands. I think I got all the trainers. Maybe I missed a couple. But anyway, I think... Um, I was going to say I wanted to use a token because I have, um, I'm at my max of tokens anyway. But you know what? I don't want to overuse... I don't want to overuse my heals anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and take on Sabrina's Gym. That's pretty much all this episode is. But I am gonna heal... Um, well, I guess it's uh, use, use from some fresh water so my Pokémon can be kind of healed. The only reason I was thinking of maybe going to the Pokémon Center was because um, Charlie was running out of digs and I could use digs on any ghastly or haunter I might find in the gym. But no, that's alright. We're gonna try to fight. We're gonna try to make our way to fight all the trainers. And I don't know the proper strategy for this, but I have a general strategy of just go in the same direction on every tile. So I'm gonna try that. I'm also gonna put my foot down so that I stop bumping the table and making the mic make a sound. But anyway, we're gonna fight a psychic. We're gonna find, fight lots of psychics and channelers here. And we have Shades out, because Shades is just about ready to evolve in one more level. And of course, if only Bite could be a Dark-type move in this generation, we could take out this Slowpoke with ease. But of course, it's got defense. But going for some Ice Beam... Actually, let's go for a Surf. Because Ice Beam, I think, did more than Bite. Plus, we've been Growled, and Surf should do more. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. So let's go for another Surf. Surf has kind of a rainbow tint. I guess it, it like, on each side it takes the color of whatever the Pokemon is, and then in the middle it's kind of yellow. But that's kind of neat. It has like a rainbow look. Alright, we've got another Slowpoke. Let's switch out this time. Uh, let's switch to Bulby. I do want to train up Sleepy against some of these trainers, probably against the Ghost users. Of course. Bulby, do you have to miss your Razor Leaf? Again! Come on, Bulby! There you go. Trying to give you a little extra experience here, so the least you could do is hit something. And it was a crit. Well, I guess you made up for it, but... I don't know. Well, maybe I did need the crit. We're at pretty even leveled. Alright, we've got a Slowbro next. Let's see if we can hit this Razor Leaf. Okay, we can. How much is it gonna do, though? Slowbro just like... It's a crit again. Okay, good. Slowbro's sprite in this game. He looks so... confused. Like, usually Slowbro looks confused, but in a... in a... sort of... dopey, oblivious sort of way. And in, in this one, he just looks... He looks like he's seen some things. He's seen some things. Okay, so we've got a Channeler, we've got a Ghastly. We'll keep Shades out for this one and go for a Surf. Surf should do better now. That Nightshade's gonna do exactly 33, leaving us with 55, yeah. We had 88, minus 33, 55. We had all the identical numbers this time. If that makes sense, all the double numbers, whatever. 88, 33, and 55. Now we have 22. This is working out perfectly, although the next turn it will work out to our doom, so... Time to heal! I was hoping I could take it out with that second Surf, but apparently not. We'll just go for a Bubble Beam next instead. We can take another Nightshade. All for the sake of getting some experience. Oh, it went for Hypnosis. That was actually good, because I don't have to deal with taking another hit. And didn't have to deal with watching the animation. Alright, so we are still not ready to evolve, but we're going to switch out to Sleepy. Going to get Sleepy a little bit of more experience. 
just because. Uh, let's go for a confusion. I probably, I guess I might as well heal before we take on Sabrina. I do have the token. And Sleepy's trying to learn meditate. Nah. I have... I'm fine with the moves I have. Alright, let's stay in on this Haunter. And just go for a Psychic. No messing around this time. Although we do outlevel it quite substantially. We have to remember though that Sabrina's Pokemon are all level 50. But you know what I might do for some easy experience against that Abra? Because I'm pretty sure that Abra does not have any TM moves, so I don't think it has anything except for Teleport, I'm fairly certain. So... I could just send out any of my Pokémon against it, just for some free experience. Then for the other two, send out Sleepy and demolish things. Okay, Shades, I should have healed you. Let's go for it, though. We're probably gonna be KO'd by this. Oh, just barely not. Alright, Shades, what are you gonna do with this bite? Alright, that was pretty good, honestly, not gonna lie, it was, that was not bad. I do think we're getting to the point where, as far as using items in battle, we're gonna have to go for... Um, we're gonna have to go with Hyper Potions instead of... Instead of Fresh Waters, because they're not quite doing enough. Our Pokémon have too high of HP for that. Alright, I'm gonna predict the Recover. Yeah, there it goes. Predict the Recover, although this might be a futile effort, unless I get a crit. Went for Disable, and it failed, so that was perfect. That love is the opening that we needed. We took a risk there, but it paid off. Shades is gonna get to level 36, and you know what that means, but first we have to finish this battle. Let's go ahead and give Bulby another chance with some more Razor Leaf. Hopefully he hits it this time. There we go. And a crit. We have been pretty good with our crits with Razor Leaf, I have to say. And Bulby also go to level 36. Bulby, of course, is already fully evolved, so it does not matter that much. Alright, we've got a, in this generation, pure Psychic type Mr. Mime, so we're just gonna send out our Psychic Demolisher Sleepy with a Mega Punch. Not quite enough, but I think a Headbutt will be enough to take it out. We do outspeed because we outlevel it by so much. The one thing that will be annoying with Sabrina's Kadabra and Alakazam is that they'll probably recover a lot. So if I don't take them out quickly, they could pose a... Not pose a threat, but they could be really tedious to take out. That Kadabra dropped in one hit because it underlevels us by like 12. So... It's more the level 50s that I'm worried about if we can one-shot them or not. Anyway, let's sit back and watch as Shades evolves. And with this, all three of our Kanto starters have reached their final evolutions. All of the Pokemon in our party have reached their fi final evolutions, even though Pikachu technically has not. <laughs> Pikachu technically has not, but of course, as you know, this Pikachu refuses to evolve. Um, alright, is there anyone else? I don't really want to send out Dino Bunny in this gym because of stats. Um, not stats, um, being against psychic types. So we'll just go ahead and lead with Sleepy, see how much more we can level him up. Got one Pokemon, a Slowbro. Probably the worst thing for Sleepy to face here. I could have probably healed up Banana and led with him, but I guess that's alright. It's a crit. It's gonna withdraw, which is unfortunate. Let's go for some headbutt hacks here, some flinch hacks. Not gonna work, and it's just gonna withdraw. I wonder if this point, at this point, if a Psychic would do more, considering Slowbro, who I think has higher defense than special. That was pretty good, and it's special fell, so I wonder if even a Confusion could take it out this turn. Even if it can't, we'll save the PP on Psychic and take one extra turn. Nope, we do take it out. Alright, Sleepy. Sleepy, just the star of this team. Basically, running moral support for Erica's gym, soloing- well, just about soloing Koga's gym. I did have Charlie take on one or two of um, Koga's Venonat. 
basically gonna solo this gym, although I'm gonna use some- use Abra as some training fodder for any one of my Pokémon. Got a Haunter. Let's stay in. Go for Psychic. Alright, let's keep going. We come here... Alright, I have to remember which direction I was facing, so basically I have to remember to turn around. Because that's basically my plan. I think if you go the same direction every time, like... I don't know, I think the way I'm doing it, even though it's not, it's not the most efficient route by far, I think it does eventually get me to Sabrina's... Um, Sabrina's room. Ah, barrier used barrier. All right, no problem. Just gonna mega punch. Not quite enough. That barrier made a difference, of course, but that's okay. I think a headbutt will finish it off here. Mr. Mime looks substantially less creepy in this sprite, mostly because he's not smiling. He looks like more like he's ready to do some serious business. Headbutt. The only thing I have to be a little careful of is conserving Sleepy's PP. But we seem to be doing alright. I don't think we have that many more trainers to fight. I wasn't really keeping track. But we'll see. Well, let's switch for now. Let's put Charlie up front. We only have a couple of digs left, but we'll... We'll use them against these uh, ghost-type Pokémon. Actually, we could... We could, um, take on... We could use... Flamethrower. So maybe we could do that. Let's see who she uses. A Haunter. In all honesty, a dig would probably be better. Looking at Charizard's back sprite. Maybe a little more- a little better than Charmeleon's, if only because it resembles Charizard more than Charmeleon's resembles Charmeleon. But it's still kind of derpy looking. It does kind of look like a little dragon. It looks like a little friendly dragon just waving. Hey there! Okay, so we've already been here. We might have fought all the trainers. I'm not sure. This one? Yeah, we fought this one. So I'm just gonna go keep going back and forth until we get to Sabrina. Which we should eventually, just from pure chance. Yeah, there we go. See, that strategy, just going to the left or the right, depending on which side you end up on, of each room, pretty much, there's a couple repeats as you saw, but it pretty much allows you to take on all the trainers in the gym and if you then continue after that, you will get to Sabrina. So it is a pretty useful thing. Let's see, did we- did I bring- I did not bring any of my Hyper Potions with me. I have a couple of- I have a couple of Hyper Potions in the PC, so I might- um, I might bring those out after this battle. So yeah, as you can tell, I've decided I'm not gonna heal before fighting Sabrina, I'm actually gonna do something that mathematically is not a very intelligent thing, I suppose. I'm going to heal after Sabrina, and the reason for that being, I wanna actually consume these tokens, so that I'm act I'm- I'm not always playing it safe, I guess. So instead of being- using one, getting maxed out, using one again, and it potentially, essentially getting two heals and being at nine tokens, I'm gonna use one heal after Sabrina and be at nine tokens again. We're already at ten, so if we win this, we're not going to get more tokens. But anyway, enough of that explaining. Who do I want to lead with against Abra? Honestly, this might be the easiest experience for Banana. But I have to keep in mind that Shades and, to a lesser extent, Dino Bunny are gonna be my main choices against Blaine. I think I'm gonna go for Shades, if for no other reason then it's gonna be more difficult to train him against- Well, it's gonna be even more difficult to train Dino Bunny against water types. Now that I think about it. I might as well lead with Dino Bunny. We haven't seen any action from Dino Bunny in this episode. 
Or really action from him in a couple episodes, so let's go and take on Sabrina now. I had a vision of your arrival. I have had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned to bend spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. And you can come and live in my dollhouse forever and ever and ever. Man, anime Sabrina was creepy. And manga Sabrina is a Team Rocket member, so Sabrina is just crazy all around. Okay, we got Dino Bunny. Look at that level disadvantage we're at, but I think we'll do all right. She is going for the X Defend on Abra. I am pretty sure that's going to take it out anyway because it's a crit. I was going to say I was pretty sure it didn't know any TM moves, so it wouldn't know Psychic or anything. But if it had, that would have been a problem for Dino Bunny. But let's send out Sleepy now. Take on this Kadabra. Gonna go for a Mega Punch. She's going for the X Defend on all of them. That's actually a fairly smart idea because the the Alakazam line lacks physical defense. And look at how little that did. I mean, that was also due to an X Defense. Oh, and we're getting the accuracy drop. So this, this could be more annoying than I initially thought. And going with Psy Wave, which is kind of unpredictable, and yeah, does not does not do a type effectiveness check. I think it might in later generations, but from what I know in this generation, it doesn't. So we have to be wary of that. She's gonna use another X Defend, of course. It's gonna make our job a little more difficult. We have one Kinesis on us, so we have to be careful about that, especially when using Mega Punch, which is not 100% um, accurate to begin with. Now here's where we find out how much trouble we're in. That's not bad. We did get our special drop, which doesn't really matter from the physical, from the offensive end. And it's gonna go for Reflect. Now I'm trying to remember if Reflect wears off in this generation or not. This thing is bulky. Fortunately went for Psy Wave and it did fairly minimum. Oh, we got a crit Mega Punch! Sleepy, we needed that. And how about Sleepy not missing anything, even after a Kinesis with a, with a not 100% accurate uh, thing. A not 100% accurate attack. So yeah. And we're gonna get the TM for Psy Wave, which, to be honest, we're gonna deposit it. Can we dig to get out of here? That would be the most convenient thing. Yes, we can. And it doesn't matter which Pokemon Center we go to, to be honest. We're probably gonna- okay, we are gonna go to Saffron. Let's go ahead and... Now use our token and heal- well actually let's deposit stuff first, just so I don't forget. We can probably, as a matter of fact, deposit um, our Pokeballs as well. I really don't think we're gonna need them anymore, especially at this stage of the game. If I wanted to catch something, I would probably buy Great Balls or Ultra Balls. So let's do that. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna keep the TM for Mega Drain around a little bit longer because I still can't decide what to do with it. I feel like eventually I'm gonna have to use it. I could teach it instead of Leech Seed, but let's go ahead and use one of our tokens. Okay. So basically my, my goal with this thing, with the token usage thing, is just that I don't want to- oh, I was gonna- I was gonna, um, withdraw some Hyper Potions, however many I had. So the thing with the tokens is, I realized that I probably, um, gave myself too many tokens by allowing myself three tokens per gym leader. So, of course, as you know, I now had my limit of, no matter what, I can't go over ten tokens. So, if I already had ten tokens, like I did now when I took on Sabrina, oh well, I don't get any more tokens. So that's a way to kind of make it a little bit more limited. Ten tokens at a time might still be a little much, um, but th with the- I'm, I think I'm gonna have to be doing some grinding before I fight Blaine, so that's gonna probably require me to heal once or twice. Um, the grinding before the Elite Four might require multiple heals. So it's still- I think there's still a challenge there. Um, like I had said when I was starting this this uh, playthrough, I didn't want it to be so ridiculously challenging that I couldn't beat it 
or that I couldn't have fun with it. I wanted it to be- to have a challenge just so it would be a little more interesting. Um, but I didn't want it to be ridiculous. I wanted to have fun with it, basically is what I'm gonna say. It's Pokemon's 20th anniversary, I'm reliving Generation 1. I want it to be in more than just a regular playthrough, which is why I'm doing the limited heal, but I didn't want it to be so ridiculous that I was gonna have to be too stressed out about it. So I think this is a pretty decent compromise. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode. I'm gonna cut it off here. In the next episode, we'll travel down, um, we'll go down the Pallet, so Pallet Town side towards Cinnabar Island, fight some of the trainers there, maybe explore the Pokemon Mansion in that episode. And yeah, there'll probably be a training, um, off-screen training after that episode before we fight Blaine because we're gonna need to level up some of our more neglected Pokemon in terms of experience. But anyway, for this episode, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. As always, I appreciate those. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on my videos. Also, if you want to follow me on social media, you can like my page on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. The links are in the description. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you on the next episode of my limited heal run of Pokemon Yellow.